All right. All right, everybody. This is me just doing a simple. I mean, it's coming off as a live stream, but this is me just doing a simple. Uh, I'm probably switching up to a video. What's up, everybody? I'm host of the Most Care Hour podcast. I want you to like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Don't forget to hit that bell. Basically, I did just upload this as a live stream. I'm switching over to a video. And uh, pretty much wanted to let you know, don't forget to follow me on KR Podcast Streams where we play PC gaming all day, every day, every Sunday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't forget to also follow us on Twitch. Link in the description below. All right, we just got through playing Splatoon 3 on Twitch. Now, first of all, Splatoon 3 is a great game. Um, you pay $60 for the game. I think the game was... Uh, I think the game is pretty hot. We we had a, a good time playing it. But the parts that suck is when you basically upload, import your information from part two to part three, and you still got to start over from level zero, which I get that. But getting up to level five and getting those guns at the beginning, they suck. And just be honest, they suck. And then they started having communications errors, so we couldn't finish it out getting to level five. So it kind of cut the stream short a little bit due to the fact that we couldn't finish it out because we kept getting communication error. Probably... A bunch of people hitting the server, so it's all good. What I need to learn real quick, though, basically, is how to play Salmon Run and how to get there, because currently I don't know how to get there. I can't remember if you have to be, like, level 10 or 15 or something like that to get there, but, you know, either way, I'm trying to get there to get um, to play Salmon Run, because that's basically what I liked on Splatoon 2. Splatoon 2, excuse me, was Salmon Run. That was my thing. That was my joint. And that's the thing I like to play the most, now, also, what we're going to talk about real quick is I think that you have to learn the bots and the different special powers that you have. I played it in a demo. I learned a couple, but scenes for some odd reason seem like Krabby scenes a little different. He shot quicker during the demo for some odd reason. He went shooting quicker when I had him. I don't know, but that's probably something that come along with a little bit more time and playing with it. But basically, my biggest complaint right now is just the communication error. It seemed like the server's adding up a little bit. Could be a lot of people on it at one time, and it just get better with over time. I do believe it's a great game. I do believe you should get it out, get out there and check it out and play it because it's Splatoon 3. I mean, splat, splat, all day, every day, baby. That's what we like to do. We out here letting them have it, giving it to them so they can know. Now, let's switch up to a few topics that I had today that I wanted to discuss. So, as you know, I am rocking the S22 Ultra. As you know, I am also an iPhone user. You also know that I did order the iPhone 11 14 Pro Max today. I know some of the Samsung Knights stand down real quick. Just want to let you know that I rock both. I am still learning Samsung and the ways of Samsung, and I will say the customization on it, it is great. Apple has a lockdown ecosystem, so basically can customize like that. That's pretty hot. Back in the day, we used to jailbreak, but that's no longer a thing. But I will say this that I think that is pretty interesting is... Pro Max is obviously going to sell like hotcakes. But do you believe that the Pro Max is on the same level as the S22? I mean, currently, I'm going to say the S22 Ultra is still a better phone, obviously. We haven't, per se, played with the Pro Max. So I'm going to say I'm still going to give it the S22 to 9 only because customization. Now, if the iPhone camera at that 40 megapixel is hitting just as good as that 109 on the Ultra, I'm going to say, hey, iPhone, they may be lagging behind, but, hey, they caught up real quick. One thing Apple is good for is they'll let Samsung go out there and make all these changes, make these foldable phones. Apple going to turn around, going to make a foldable phone. on. guess what? Foldable phone is going to be a good thing. Everybody going to like it. Everybody going to love it. Everybody going to want to go out there and buy it. So y'all stay tuned for those videos. I also got a new Galaxy Watch, so I will be comparing the watch to the Apple Watch, so I got a Nike Series 6 compared to the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. So we're going to compare those two, and obviously I got the Ultra coming, so let's switch over and compare that. Now, the main reason why I'm not going to compare the iPhone to the foldable device, a.k.a. the Flip or a.k.a. the Fold, due to the fact that I think those are niche devices, and quite frankly, I think that's apples and oranges. So I don't really think you can compare that. So you're never going to hear me in comparison with that. Do I think the fold is nice? I'm going to play with it. Yes. Do I think it's hot? Yes, it is. But I don't think that you can compare that to an iPhone. I just feel like, you know, two separate things. I don't, I don't really think you can kick them both and say they're the same one. 
But uh, for the most part, we're going to have some comparisons coming on with that. Typically with those videos, we do those on Tuesday, Thursday, Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Typically we're talking about gaming. I just want to put this out here because I want to let you know there's some other things that we have in the pipeline in the works. And, of course, don't forget to come by and check us out on KR Podcast Streams on Sunday where we're going to do PC gaming every Sunday. Also, I wanted to say as far as gaming news goes, it was something else I wanted to talk about. I think it was Ubisoft. Let me look at it real quick. Pull this up, pull this up, pull this up, pull this up. Yep, Ubisoft Ford is going to be coming out. So when they have the uh, Ubisoft Ford event, we're going to sit up there. We're going to talk about that see what Ubisoft got going on. And that's pretty much all I had. I just wanted to, you know, tell you about a few things that I had going on, what we're going to be doing big, what direction we're going to be going with the channel. Obviously, we're going to go on with some more tech stuff. We're still going to keep our gaming stuff going. But I just want to let you know the other things that we're going to have coming forward and that, you know, you can pay attention to. So the store is going to be dropping soon. And don't forget to follow us on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. As far as Splatoon 3 goes, it's a good game. You should check it out. It has some flaws, but again, this is day one. We'll come back to this about two weeks, and I'll give you a further more in-depth review with pictures and videos and everything else, so play and all that stuff, get all that going. But tonight, I just wanted to let you know that Splatoon 3 is all right. Also, wanted to let you know the S22 Ultra, pretty decent phone. I also want to let you know that iPhone did come out, and I'm curious if anybody pre-ordered, or was it just me by myself? But without further ado, you can be in West, decide to hang out with me, kick with me. I want to say I appreciate it. Thank you. And when you see this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And in the comment section below, did you order the iPhone 14 Plus, regular, Pro, Pro Max? Also, did you buy Splatoon 3? And if you did, what did you think about it? Until next time, I want to say I appreciate it and I thank you. i see you on the next one. Catch me on Sunday. Peace. We out, baby.